Hello and welcome back. So today I'm just going to talk about something that I spotted on my Roku. And by the way, I have the software as you can see 9.1.0 on my Roku Ultra. At the moment, I don't have 9.2, the new version that's rolling out to many new Roku players, older Roku players, and Roku TV. So one of the new features that Roku announced in the 9.2 update was this feature called Roku Zones. So in the search menu or with the voice search, you ask Roku to take you to a zone of a genre or apps or movies related to stuff like, you know, Harry Potter, Pixar, and more. So Roku announced that as a feature that will be available on the 9.2 update. Now, like I said, not have the 9.2 update, I'm only on 9.1. But if you have like Roku Ultra, like I do, not the 2019, but the 2018, I don't know if it's a Roku stick, I'm probably going to check to make sure. But if you have something like that, the Roku Zone feature is already available. All you have to do is search for Zone, you'll get a row of Roku Zones, like Music, The Mommy Zone, Lord of the Rings Zone, Pixar Zone, Twilight. They even have the, the Halloween Zone. And you know, since Halloween's coming up, why not take a look at that? So as you can see here, they have a row of featured movies and shows. They have free Halloween movies, family favorites, spooky classics, and movies that make you scream. Let's take a look at the music zone right here. So music zone, they have free apps that you can listen to music on through Spotify, Pandora, Vivo, iHeartRadio.com, MyTuner, and then they have movie style available with a subscription, as you can see right here, including Tidal, that's, a, that's now available, Amazon Music, Sirius XM, and much more. Let's take a look at Pixar. Why not? We got Disney Plus coming out in November. Pixar is supposed to be on there, so why not bring that up on here? So you got Toy Story movies on here, um, all free. Now, the full version is already out. It's available on all the streaming services on the Roku. I don't know why they didn't put the fourth one on here. That's weird. You got the Cars movies, all three of them. You got other Pixar movies, and then you got other movies on here that Roku handpicked right here. Let me take a look at one more movie, and then we're done. So, Hollywood Award winner movies. As you can see right here, in this zone, you got the best picture winners, the best TV winners, the best comedies, the best actors that star in these shows and movies. You got the best actress winners, and then you got the best director winners. So you get the point. Regardless if you have the 9.2 update, or rather you don't have it yet, you already have one of the features from the 9.2 update available on your Roku that you can check out right now if you have a Roku Ultra like I have. Again, I haven't checked the Roku stick. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I'm upstairs in the bedroom. And like I said, I have both the Roku streaming stick from the 2016 and I have the TCL Roku TV. So now I'm going to go to the Roku streaming stick first. So I'm going to search zone here and let's see if they have the Roku zone feature here. So let's go down. All right. So it seems like it doesn't have the Roku zone feature here. That's very interesting. Let me click so more. Yep, they don't have the Roku zone features. And just like on, like I said, I searched the um, the Roku zone, the TCL Roku TV earlier. Same thing. It doesn't have 
the zone feature here. So it seems like only where I can get access to the Roku zone is through my Roku Ultra. Maybe if you bought a Roku device, maybe from 2018, maybe that's where you get the Roku zone at, regardless if you get the 9.2 update or not. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it interesting. The Roku Zone is available now on the Roku Ultra and other Roku devices that was made in 2018, whether if you have the 9.2 update or not. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned, coming soon November, I'm planning to do a review and first impression video of the Disney Plus streaming service. Now, I'm already very excited about it. I already pre-ordered it online and I can't wait to see what they have. So if you want to find out my thoughts about it and want to check out a review of it, stay tuned to the channel as I will cover Disney Plus on November 12th.